Three people are dead, four others wounded following a, a late night shooting in a wealthy neighborhood just north of Beverly Hills. Welcome back. Tonight we are learning more about the victims of a mass shooting in California. And the three women who were killed each had ties to Chicago. What up, y'all? Welcome to Murdered While Melanated. And today we have a strange story coming out of affluent Beverly Hills where seven people were shot, but three black women were killed. Yes crazy story, no suspects caught, and no motive. Let's jump right in to this crazy story. Three people who died in a shooting outside a short-term rental home in Beverly Crest were identified on Sunday. The victims are Ayanna Hutton, 33, from Chicago, Nina Davis, 29, from Brolinbrook, Illinois, and Destiny Sims, 26, from Buckeye, Arizona. According to Los Angeles County Coroner's Office, the shooting occurred around 2.30 a.m. Saturday outside a home in the 27 block of Ellison Drive, north of Beverly Hills. The women were inside a car when they were struck by gunfire. Four other people outside the vehicle were also wounded. Two of the survivors took themselves to the hospital for care, while the other two were transported by ambulance, police said. The suspect or suspects remain at large. We can confirm that this was a gun battle where the victims were shot. Now, the story is still developing, but yes, you have Nina Davis, 29, Ayanna Hutton, 33, who was an aspiring rapper and Destiny Sims, 26, all have ties to Chicago. And they went out to California for some type of party. And this crazy situation happened where they were murdered, sitting in a car in a cul-de-sac in a nice neighborhood. The mid-century home is in a quiet neighborhood nestled in Santa Monica Mountains where houses are large and expensive. The property, estimated at three million, is in a cul-de-sac and described in an online real estate platform as modern and private with a pool and an outdoor shower. So yes, man, unbelievable story where three women traveled out to Santa Monica and all lose their life in a vehicle. They were all DOA on arrival. Seven others were hit, but they were able to take themselves to the hospital like you heard the story. So there you have it, man. Murder while melanated. I would like to thank y'all for pressing play because I know y'all don't have to. Thank you. And I will be dropping daily stories of black people that were murdered while melanated. Whether it's by the police, family members, or other black people that look just like them. Thank you for hopping in. Jump into the comment section and let me know what you think about the channel. And thank you. And until further, yeah.